When working with Smart Photos through programs like Lightroom or Aperture, you have a lot of versatility and the ability to go back and forth and re-edit your images. However, there are a couple of things that you want to pay attention to, and one of the most important is that you have limited access to retouching and cropping tools inside the Perfect Photo Suite. One of the biggest suggestions we can give is making sure that you level and crop your image when using Smart Photos before you go into the Photo Suite. This image, for instance, is slightly crooked, and I want to straighten it. So I'm going to make sure that I do that before going into the photo suite and applying adjustments in programs like Perfect Enhance, Perfect Black and White, Perfect Effects, and so on. So let's go over really quickly to the Crop dialog here in Lightroom, and I am going to access the Straighten tool. Let's straighten the image out a little bit, and I'm going to crop it. I'm going to turn it into a square, so I'm going to select the one-to-one -one ratio, and we will move this around until it's in place. Now once I'm done, and I click Close, then I'm going to take it into the Photo Suite. If you jump up to the File menu and scroll down to Plugin Extras, you'll notice that you have access to all of the different modules in the Photo Suite, including Perfect Layers. If we start out in Perfect Layers, which I will select, it's going to create a copy of my raw file and it's going to ask me whether I'd like to access this as a smart photo or a normal photo. I'm going to go ahead and choose Smart Photo. We'd like to re-edit this later. And once I'm here inside Perfect Layers, you'll notice that on the left-hand side of my screen, the Crop Tools as well as the Retouching Tools are grayed out. It doesn't give me the ability to access any of these here. However, if you would like to do some basic retouching on a smart photo, you actually have access to those tools inside Perfect Enhance. So I'm going to go over to the top right-hand corner of my screen and click on Enhance. Now once in here, on the left-hand side, you'll notice I still don't have the ability to crop, but I do have access to my Perfect Eraser, my Retouch Brush, and my Red Eye Removal Tool. For this image, let's go ahead and take the Perfect Eraser and edit out a couple of the people in the background. So we'll just click and drag over any of the subjects in the back that we want to get rid of. Go ahead and run through these real quick. One, two, three, and let's get rid of that last kid in the background. Inside Perfect Enhance, I also have the ability to make basic adjustments. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to maybe brighten up the image a little bit. Let's add some contrast in there add some vibrance. I'm going to warm the photo up. I think it's a little too cool. And let's add some detail. Because we access the Perfect Photo Suite through the file menu inside of Lightroom, it gives me the ability to access multiple modules at once. So if I want to continue adding effects inside the suite, I can go up to the top right hand corner and click on another module like Perfect Effects. Let's go ahead and select that option. And as I go through, it is cataloging all of the adjustments that we've made to this image and giving me the power of re-editability. Now once we're here inside Effects, on the left-hand side of my screen, I'm going to scroll through and let's select this Color Pop option. We're going to go ahead and click on that to apply it. On the right-hand side of my screen, you'll see that in the filter stack, I have access to all of these different filters here that I've applied, but for now we're going to go ahead and just click Apply. Now once we're done clicking Apply, it's going to jump us right back into Perfect Layers. You'll be able to see both of the different modules that we accessed, Perfect Enhance and Perfect Effects. I'm going to click Save, and then I'm going to go ahead and click Close. Now once it's closed, let's jump back into Lightroom. When I zoom out, you'll be able to see that right next to my original file is the new edited copy that we just created. If you'd like to go back in and make more adjustments, all you need to do is jump back up to the File menu, scroll down to Plugin Extras, and choose Perfect Layers one more time. Once inside Layers, on the right-hand side of my screen, you'll see that Perfect Effects and Perfect Enhance are listed in my Layers stack. I can go through, and if I'd like to maybe play around or tweak that Perfect Effects preset that we applied, I'll go ahead and just double-click that option. It's going to launch Perfect Effects for me, and I'll be able to go through and make adjustments in here if I'd like to. 
Let's say that we want to remove this vintage filter on the top. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that filter. And I like that a little bit better. The sky looks a bit more natural. And I'm going to click on Apply back in that bottom right hand corner. It'll save those brand new changes, drop me right back into layers, and all I need to do is save my file one more time. As you're going through and making adjustments to smart photos through Lightroom, do remember that anytime you make adjustments with the Perfect Eraser in a program like Perfect Enhance, you won't have the ability to go back and re-edit those. Once you make retouching changes and enhance, those changes are final. However, all of the adjustments you make on the right-hand side of the screen, such as applying filters and perfect effects, or making tonal adjustments and enhance, all of those will be re-accessible.